right, welcome in. I'm the Kodiak, and today I'm here to talk about why Kenny Pickett does not deserve another chance to be the Pittsburgh Steelers starting quarterback. Point being, I have just seen enough of Kenny Pickett. All my concerns about his game actually translating to the NFL, him being a fifth-year quarterback in a weak conference, uh, small hands, have all become true. He took a long, and emphasis on the word long, time to truly break out in college in a weak conference. He has small hands. Oh, and by the way, he was throwing to Jordan Addison, who was the Blednikov winner. He has small hands. He can't throw the ball downfield. And he doesn't have the mental capacity or processing to beat NFL defenses, AFC North defenses, let alone take part in the division known as that bloodbath, where every divisional game is always war. And in the AFC, in the American Football Conference, you have guys like Mahomes, you have guys like Burrow, you have guys like Stroud, you have guys like Allen, you have guys like Lamar, and many others who are very capable quarterbacks. And I don't think it's a stretch to say that Kenny Pickett is by far, besides Russell Wilson, the worst starter in the conference, besides maybe Russ and AOC. And everybody who had concerns about Pickett's ceiling was proven right. I know that people were just like, oh, you know, draft season, it can always turn into a circle jerk. Everybody was just like, no, he has small hands. Uh, well, other people were saying, no, that doesn't matter. Look at Burrow. But to be completely honest, I just don't see it with this guy. He doesn't deserve another chance to be the Steelers' starting quarterback. He came into the NFL as a 24-year-old rookie, and a 24-year-old rookie at quarterback is largely different than any other position besides O-line because good players for the draft always declare early. Rarely ever do you hear about a graduate linebacker, corner, wide receiver, running back going on to have a successful NFL career. And if Kenny Pickett only was bad because of Matt Canada's offense, why did his third string quarterback in Mason Rudolph come in and immediately play better and win games down the stretch, beat Seattle and beat Cincinnati with the same O-line, the same weapons, and they were using the same playbook, just different play calling. Maybe it's possible that Matt Canada and Kenny Pickett were both awful and bad. And Tomlin has overachieved with this untalented roster for the past few years. The Steelers have been wasting their great defense, uh, but they just have no talent on the offensive side of the ball. They have decent skill guys, don't get me wrong. But let me just throw this out there. Justin Fields is not the answer, nor is he the solution either, but he's better than Kenny Pickett. And Arthur Smith was an incredibly unexciting and uninspiring hire. He's just, I mean, Kenny Pickett's just mid airing on the side of bad, and you don't win in the NFL with mid. You can't elevate a subpar offensive coordinator with mid. I know that people are trying to talk themselves into Ryan Tannehill uh, being reimagined in the body of Kenny Pickett. But to be completely honest, uh, I would, the only way I would, how do I say this? The only way I would support that claim is if he was bringing Derrick Henry with him and Najee Harris just suddenly turns into Derrick Henry overnight because Najee has not shown anything either. Oh, and by the way, is Deontay or Pickens going to turn into A.J. Brown? I mean, I'm a Pickens fan, don't get me wrong, but 2020-2021, A.J. Brown was way better than either of those guys. But um, Kitty Pickett has had you know, 25 games, I think, as a starter, and the two things you can say about him, the best two things you can say about him, is he's learned to protect the football, and he's played decent late in close games. Um, otherwise, it's pretty bad, and he's looked like a backup quality quarterback, to be honest. You could make the argument that he has been a very, very disappointing pick, but you could also make the argument that he was wildly and irresponsibly overdrafted. I know that it was a weak quarterback class, and I know that in 2022, and I know that they didn't really do a great job of preparing for... Big Ben's retirement, but that falls on the organization. You know, if you don't have a plan in place, what are you going to do? And I understand they were dealt a few bad hands, um, but they benched Kenny once. They clearly aren't afraid to do it again. And there's a lot of capable quarterbacks in this class. And if they feel like there are better options, I think they add one. Maybe not in the first round, but if there's a quarterback in free agency, that'll sign with them. Maybe they'll do it. Maybe they'll bring in Russ. Maybe they'll bring in Jameis. Maybe they'll bring in. You know, Baker, if he goes hunting for a big contract. But Kenny is going to be given the inside chance to start because he's the incumbent. And the Steelers always, always, always go with that philosophy of homegrown talent. 
and they want to give him a chance to make his case to start, especially because in the NFL, any GM with even a lukewarm seat, uh, granted the Steelers is probably you know one of the best organizations for job security out there, but any GM or head coach within an acting regime does not want their guy to fail, and Kenny Pickett was their guy. But you can't continue to waste guys like Pickens, Deontay Muth, and Warren. And let me just say, I did not think Pickett was a first-round talent. He has the limited ceiling, and those kind of guys never made sense to me, especially in the bloodbath that is the AFC North. And I've tried to be supportive of him because I do like him as a person. I've tried to remain unbiased, but he's terrible. He misses passes. He misses wide-open plays. He panics under pressure. And I'm all for firing Canada. I think that was a great move, but... It's not going to get any better with Arthur Smith. Sure, schematically, maybe. But personnel-wise, the guy who failed to utilize Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, and Drake London, and I know they didn't really have a QB, but at the same time, it's not hard to get the ball into your hands of the best players unless your quarterback really was that bad, if Ritter was historically bad. But I don't know. I hope to never see Kenny Pickett on a football field ever, ever again for the sake of uh, Steeler fans everywhere, and the only person I would rather not see under center is Mitch, and anyone else would be an upgrade. So yeah, that does it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.